Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. So this one is about a new update to Google. Maybe it came through in the latest December of 2020 Google update. Uh, it looks like that now Google is showing something new in their business listings. And that is right here, this less than one year in business. Right, and we see this in a bunch of places. And if we do a simple search like car repair in New York, and of course you could pick any town you wanted, we've done some testing, and this is this is very rampant. So here's one that says 45 plus years in business. So so if we'd scroll through these, you'd see that tons of them only have one, or excuse me, less than one year in business. All right, so this is on Google Maps. And the same thing is happening if we switch over here to Google Search. Right, if you just go ahead and same search car repair new york we'll see that in the pack three those business listings that are right below the map right we see here less than one year less than one year 45 plus okay so what's going on here right google is now displaying something new and what's strange about it is that this seems to be inaccurate well how do we know that this business well the first thing is just sheer logic the number of them that we've looked at and they're saying that all of these businesses are less than one year in business right? probably not accurate the other way that we can know is if we go and look at the reviews and we could we could see that we look at these say 118 or this 397 right we know that 397 reviews were not written in less than one year and we actually have, of course, going and look at this, and we'll see that this is actually reviews are actually years and years and years old. So, right, we see a little shift in Google, right? There's a bunch of reasons we'll take a look at today, and one of them is that Google is shifting. We used to think of Google as the most accurate. You go to Google and you get accurate information. Now it, it almost seems like unless this is an error on Google's part, that Google is now becoming aggressive towards businesses, right? They're, they're showing inaccurate information and they probably know it, meaning that they could go look at public records. Obviously, they're good at mining public information. The other thing that they could do is they could know through their own reviews that this is inaccurate, that these businesses have been open longer than one year. Right. So what's going on? Well, probably what's going on is that Google is looking to coerce or give a gentle nudge to businesses to update their Google My Business listing. Right, And that's important. Right. So number one, looks like Google has gone from accurate to a little bit aggressive. And it's good to know that from an SEO, from a marketing standpoint. Number two, it looks like they may be using this to encourage people to update their Google My Business listing. Right, number three, Google may be, may be using this for ranking. It's a little early to tell yet. We've done some ranking checks, but really those numbers aren't greatly important. Either way, we know this is something that we want to do. Whether it's a tiny part of ranking or whether it's a large factor in ranking for Google My Business listings, they're wanting people to update their Google My Business listing. And if they want you to update your opening date, they probably want you to update all of it, right? And we've known that from the past. That's that's good basic SEO 101, right? And probably the most important thing, number four, is that this is marketing to your potential new customers, right? Someone who's looking for this service and they see, oh, well, this company's only been in business less than a year. And they see another one, which is, oh, 45 years in business. Right? So it might be a great thing to do from a marketing standpoint, which says you've got experience. So let's go take a look at how to update the opening date inside of Google My Business so that yours does not have to show less than one year in business. Let's go take a look. Okay, just for kicks here, we went ahead and went right into BT Foom's business listing so that we could show you first place. All right, so once you're logged into Google My Business, and I'll put the link in the description below, you can then come over here to the left vertical menu and click on Info. When you do that, you'll then scroll down here to where it says Add Opening Date. And if you click on this, it'll pop up. 
place where you can add. So let's go ahead and do that just for kicks. All right. So let's say this was 20. Oh, well, let's say it's 2010. And we'll say that it's, well, we'll pick right in the middle, June, and we'll say the 6th. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and click apply. Now, as a, a slight caveat here, as a slight warning, you should not take a look at this business listing and think, oh, this is what mine should look like. Yours should be accurate, and you should take great care that you're accurate in what you're doing. We're, we're using this more as an example than anything else. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we will say apply. Okay, that's it. Now, you notice it may take, as it is under review, and it says it may take up to three days to have this updated in the public eye. And with all things Google, of course, we know that things can change. Since this looks like a quick change that we're just seeing now, this may increase or it may go away. Of course, this is early January of 2021, but bottom line remains the same. We know we should get into our Google My Business listing, and we should update all the content we possibly can. Of course, in this case, the opening date. So I hope that this helps in getting your web presence a little higher to help your marketing and your SEO all at the same time with one simple thing. Thanks, and I hope this helps.